The usual stories about Minecraft will always go to Herobrine, about how he lives and he's a lot more than code. But have you ever wondered about the Endermen, and whether there are any secrets about them? Everyone who's played Minecraft is well familiar with him by now, and while they can be hard to find in the overworld, many have visited their home in the end. Of course, they aren't hostile unless you look at them or attack them. For this reason, quite a few people consider them friendly and like them. Personally, I've always found them creepy and killed them whenever I could. They are based off Slenderman, after all. Well, being as strong as they are, regular players know that if you run into one right after you spawn, you run for the water. For some reason, Notch decided to code them with a fear of water. And who ever thought anything bad could happen with water? Right? Well, water is the whole reason this mess started. I haven't even attempted to start up my game since then. I was playing on my regular world, a server that my friends and I had started. We had plenty of houses built, a seemingly unlimited supply of diamond and gold, and the Ender Dragon was defeated. There really wasn't much to do in the world anymore, so you had to get very creative. My friends and I were, well, we were creative enough, and we understood the game very well. Aaron was our redstone guy. If you need anything powered, he found a way to build it and make it better than any tutorial ever could tell you. Myself? Well, I made a majority of the buildings and even started work on a city. We had a few of the guys work on supplies, planting and harvesting anything that was needed. And lastly, we had Graham. He did all the magical stuff, potions, enchanting, and he had us build a mob trap so he could get outrageous amounts of experience whenever he wanted to. Of course... We had the randoms who would join now and then, the occasional troll, and sometimes we'd even have someone new to join the group as a regular. We'd all fought the Ender Dragon before, and we could do it fairly quickly. Aaron, myself, and a majority of the group could take out the crystals and fight the dragon. Graham, however, would stay underground, working out potions for the battle, and have the rest to do deliveries. He wasn't too fond of Enderman either. That's why he made us bring water buckets to the end. He stayed in the middle of the water where the Endermen couldn't get him. That's where I got this whole idea from. One day, when I had nothing else to do, I decided to get on the server. It had been about two weeks since the Ender Dragon was beaten, and we hadn't really gone to the end since then. We had a little trap that was set up with torches and sand that would send anyone who walked into it into the end, but it was mostly just to make them panic. Well, I had a great idea of using the end to farm ender pearls. I was planning on using Graham's idea with buckets in order to do it, but on a massive scale. I had every intention of flooding the end. With the help of an inventory editor and the backslash fly command, I started. Of course, this was the only time I would use such things, as I made sure that our whole server was legit. However, I was the only person on and figured everyone would have a good laugh out of the fact that I flooded the home of the Endermen. As I started going, a good portion of the floating island they call a home was filling up quickly. You could hear them panic and teleport away every time they would get splashed and the occasional scream from when they decided to go swimming for too long. It's amusing how much determination to live a single computer and AI can give a being. The rest of the island started to fill up. They became very crafty on their spawns. Many of them would go underground on little ledges, but as soon as I saw them, they would be swept away from the water and fall into the void. I kept going until there was a little square in the center and the obsidian platform that I had spawned on. They were pushing each other off of what little precious space they had left, and one would fall off the platform or into the water every few seconds. I made a few more trips around the island, filling up any spots I missed and finishing off any stragglers that found a comfy spot to sit in. One had even found a spot buried underground in a four tall tunnel until I flooded him out. This all took until about one o'clock in the morning, and I was happy to finally finish by the night's end. After I was sure that I had filled up every dry spot, I filled up the square in the center. Many of the endermen just swam until you heard their death scream and they fell, while few managed to teleport to the platform. I decided to have a little fun, at first flying the edges and watching them push each other into the water and fall off the level. This left only four. This just compelled me to get it over with and flood the center, which I did, causing three of the four to fall off the platform. 
The one remaining Enderman stayed jumping in the center, and slowly his health was being chipped away. Finally, he fell to the floor and screamed. But it wasn't the normal death screen I had grown accustomed to during my trip. It was glitching, slowed down. Then, it would start over, skip, and drag out even more. Eventually, the rest of the game took suit and I was unable to move. The sound repeated itself, as did the body falling to the floor. That is, until Minecraft has run out of memory. Minecraft then crashes, as does Java. As many people do when something like this happens, I started up both the server and Minecraft again. I figured it was just a glitch due to the massive amount of water running and the loot that was on the ground from the Enderman dying. I put in my IP address in the multiplayer and clicked connect. Error. World not found. Shit, I thought, as I knew that the crash had corrupted the files. Luckily, I backed up the world right before we fought the dragon. I grabbed my external, copied over the files, and loaded it right up. Even though I couldn't fix what was lost, I figured I'd go back and fight the dragon again before bed. Thanks to Graham, I had armor and weapons and any enchantment possible, as well as potions that would give me years of battle. I get over the portal, jump down the hole, and the end loads right up. However, something is wrong. As I look for the ender dragon, I see nothing in the air. The crystals are on the tower, but no dragon feed off them. I notice next that the endermen are gone as well. I get on the island, walk around a bit, until eventually I'm hit. I look up and see that the crystals are chaining to what I would presume to be the dragon. He's invisible. So the world just didn't load properly. I save, exit both programs, restart my computer and get right back into it. The dragon is there, but the endermen are still absent. Easier fight as I don't have to worry about looking in the wrong direction and having to ward off a pissed off enderman. Twenty minutes later, I shoot the last arrow into the dragon and he floats into the air, and the egg drops into the fountain. I run over there so I can get out of the end, but another strange occurrence. The end portal that usually fills the fountain is now just the same texture as water. A bucket wouldn't pick it up like normal water though. This just led me to think that my jar file was corrupted, and I hop in. Eventually it functions just like the normal end portal would, except I hear the death screen of the enderman again. Not just once, but over, and over, and over. The portal finally works, but it isn't what I expected. Black. Then, Minecraft has run out of memory. I reinstall all the files, including the world for another time, and the game starts up without a hitch. I get back to the portal and hop in. This time it's not the end that awaits me. Instead, it seems like an endless room. I can still see, but it's just a faint glow around me. I walk forward thinking it could be the end and something like a potion of blindness was stopping me from seeing it. The faint globe of light is all I can see, and the only source of light in my room as well. The platform doesn't end in a few blocks though, and the obsidian continues, shattering my hopes of being in the end. The obsidian floor keeps going in all directions, so I follow a straight line. I walk, and then the sounds start. My footsteps first but then the sound of blocks being placed. As I go forward, the faint sounds of Endermen begin, and increases. First, just the normal grunts. Then, they sound as if they are agitated. The sounds becoming much more frequent. It gets louder as if the whole horde are chasing me, but they refuse to catch me. I start to see the purple pixels as if they are teleporting themselves and me. Then it stops. A few seconds later, one comes flying out of the screen, and the death screen goes at full volume. This made me literally jump out and let go of the keyboard and mouse. Silence. It doesn't start up again until I move the mouse. One more sound. A light grunt, as if they're letting me know that they are in the darkness, just out of my sight. I go forward again, clicking my mouse, hoping to hit one of them, or a wall, or anything. The pattern starts over, the sounds, the pixels, and the scare. I didn't stop moving though, and neither did they. It continues. Escape. Alt F4. They didn't have any function. I'm plugging the computers out of the question as I refuse to risk any of my equipment. I keep going, hoping it ends. After about three minutes of cycle, it does. I'm teleported one last time, unable to move. The Enderman on the screen stares straight into my eyes. Water surrounds my character, and after 20 seconds he begins to drown. You are dead. 
In the background, the Enderman still looks with a stoic appearance, not even flinching as much as an inch. Five seconds later, the computer powers down without warning, and I am left in the dark. The next day, I send my friend the files of the world. They play the game without any flaws, gone to the end, and even gotten a few pearls. But I refuse to. I don't even have the files on my computer anymore. I did a complete wipe of my hard drive. Minecraft became more than a game that night. It's a lot more than a simple AI controlling a few entities. Definitely more than a glitch. These games and entities that form on our fears, they do that and much more. It's a lot more than simple coding now. The Endermen, they do hold a grudge. They have a fear and it's not something to taught them with. They are aware and they will make sure you become aware of them and their presence.